Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to create a trampoline that shoots the player upwards. If you want to know how it's done, stick around. Game Game Day Day Journey. Journey. Alright, so as you see we can't actually reach the strawberry from underneath. We're going to need a trampoline to bounce us up there. Now, one thing I want to clean up, because if you run the level at the moment, You'll see here we're getting two errors. And if we go to the debugger, it says the node collectibles is not found in the player. So I just want to fix that. If we go to the player scene over here, we go to the script, and we, we've got an onReady variable here which is grabbing the collectibles node. And it's just assuming that there's going to be a collectibles node in the scene. So if we just remove that for now, we just leave it as node then what's going to happen is when the uh, scene is ready, the player scene is ready, it will assign this collectibles variable to the first node in the group that has um, that is in the group called collectibles and then we count the children which is the number of strawberries. So if we go to the trampoline level over here I've already added a group node called collectibles and it's got one child which is a strawberry. So if we run the trampoline level now you'll see that that error is gone. Okay, so let's return here and let's start. We've got our level design. Let's now make a trampoline. So let's start out with a new scene. And the trampoline is going to be an area 2D. So let's add an area 2D node. Let's rename it to trampoline. Let's give it a shape. And let's uh, make it a rectangle. Let's give the trampoline an animated sprite. And let's add these sprite frames there. Now the default will rename to idle, which is when the trampoline is just sitting idle. Now let's go to our assets folder here. And let's drag in the trampoline folder from the pixel adventure folder. And here we get the trampoline, we get idle and jump. Okay, so for idle, we'll just use the idle animation right there. We can zoom in a bit and we can adjust this collision shape so that it is matching the trampoline like so. And now let's create a new animation and let's call it jump. So we'll call this animation jump or spring or something like that. And we're going to have to go and get it from the sprite sheets. So let's go to assets, trampoline, there's jump, open it. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight horizontal, one vertical. Select them and add them. Here are our frames here. Now let's set FPS to 15 and turn off looping. So now we're going to go back to the idle frame and in fact now we're going to go to the trampoline and add a script and we'll call it trampoline. It's fine. Let's put it in our scripts folder and create it. So we're going to need access to the animated sprite. So let's hold control and drag it in and release. Now we have access to the animated sprites and we can determine which animation we're going to play. Now let's find the body entered signal of our trampoline. Body entered and let's connect it. So this is going to be the player. Right, so we're going to, well, we'll check it to see if it is the player. We'll say if body dot is in group. Sorry about that. Is in group. And the group name is player. And let's just check if it's a lowercase or uppercase P. So if we go to the trampoline level, here's the player. We need to add it to a group. Let's go to groups, player there, so it's lowercase p. Okay, so but if the uh, 
body is the player. We also only want to trigger the trampoline if the player enters from above. So only, let's put a comment here, only trigger from above. So we want to actually check the global position of the body. And as long as it's less than the global position of the trampoline's Y, uh, we, we allow the body to bounce. So let's say if the body dot global position dot Y less than the global position dot Y of the trampoline, then we will bounce the body. So body dot bounce. And we can send an amount to bounce it by. So let's say minus 800. Um, that's our upward force. And then we can uh, play the jump animation of the animated sprite. So dot play. And we want to play jump. Right, so now we need to reset the trampoline back to its idle position after a jump has happened. So we should go to our trampoline. Yeah, let's just save it by the way. Trampoline scene can be in our scenes. So what we should do here is on the uh, body exited once the, the player has left the trampoline we should reset it to idle check again if the body dot is in group player then we can say animated sprites 2d dot play and we'll play idle right now what we should do because there is no bounce function in the player script we should go and add that so let's go to the player so if we go to the trampoline level right so in the player script we'll make a new function called bounce that receives a force and that force can be a float and we can then um, set the velocity uh, y, the y velocity of the player, to the force. Okay, save that. And now we need to add a trampoline to our trampoline levels. Go back to the trampoline level. Here it is. Let's now add a trampoline to the level. So let's go and find our trampoline scene. There it is. Let's add one trampoline there. Zoom in. Okay, and let's add another trampoline on the other side. Okay, that looks great. Okay, and let's test it now. So if we run, should be able to jump on one and jump on the other one. We get the strawberry and we can finish the level. All right, so it works. Um, let's just do one quality of life change. And I, I want to see if we go to the trampoline, if instead of using the body exited function, because this doesn't give a chance for the animated sprite to play the full animation because as soon as the player leaves the trampoline, it resets to idle. So really we're only seeing, we're hardly seeing it move at all. So what I want to do is change this. I'm going to go to the trampoline. And in fact, I'm going to go to the animated sprites and I'm going to go to animation finished and connect that. And I'm going to say, if the animation if the animation, anima, if animated sprite dot animation is equal to jump, then I'm going to set the animation to idle.
and that will give us more time to see this animation. So I'm going to disconnect this body exited function, disconnect it, and in fact, I'm going to delete it. And now we're going to test again and see the difference. Let's run it. And now we see the full animation of the trampoline pushing the player upwards. Well, I hope you found that useful. See you again next time.